What's happening, people? Welcome back to the next episode of The Phantom Knight. In between the last episode and the beginning of this episode, I did do a handful of things off camera, mostly just traveling around um, and unlocking uh, fast travel points. But in this episode, we are going to do a couple things here in Riften real quick, and then we're going to be doing the bandit bounties for Windhelm. I want to try and complete all of these, so this might be a little bit of a longer episode, but we're going to do our few things here in Riften, and then we're going to hit up Crags Lane and Stony Creek, and then we'll travel upwards and do Trader's Post, even though it's not one of our bounties, and then we'll do Wreck of the Winter War, and then we'll make our way back down, do Uttering Hills, and then hopefully end on Lost Knife, because Lost Knife will be a nice uh, challenge for us. Also, my character did get a haircut, if you didn't notice. Uh, I switched over to using a KS hairdo. Uh, I think it has a little bit better performance, but mostly just because they were doing some, like, weird discoloration things with the hair. I don't know. It was kind of off-putting, so I switched to this one. It looks fine. Pretty minimal, so we'll run with it. We're going to do the Skuma quest to start off. But first, we've got insights from all the bounties that we turned in from last episode. So we can go ahead and get some points into Illusion here. And now that we're getting up to higher levels of loot of illusion, I'm kind of more inclined to go for that apprentice stone pretty soon. Maybe after this episode. I think next episode we're going to go apprentice stone periite and let the build take off. Uh, and the next thing we want to level is blocking. So we got our two points in stamina. So I think now it's back and forth on magicka and health. And I will put this next point right here into Apprentice Illusion because we are going to get Enraging Orb and Blur. And thanks to being an Imperial, this is a bit cheaper, but we still can't cast it, which is why I want to put points into Magicka for like 15 off. If we did have a Princess, uh, princess Stone, we would be able to cast it. Not quite yet. We can cast Enraging Orb though. That's actually kind of interesting. But I think I'm going to stick to my usual strategy for this one. Scratch that. I'm just going in guns a blazing. Ah! Oh, we gotta be careful here. Oh, are you kidding me? The bash cancel. Gotta watch our stamina here. I do have a tomato soup up. I do have a poison that I could use. But I'm a little too scared to enter my inventory right now. I think we're alright though. Alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, I might go sell this real quick actually. Can I take the steel plate as well? No. That would put me over. It's usually, you know, you know, the way three tweaks is, it's not exactly uh, great to go uh, sell things for money. And, you know, it's that's not the most efficient way to get gold. But, you know, since we're already here in Riften, we're going to be right out here anyways. I can go ahead and turn it in. And great, it's raining. Swear, Skyrim must be based in like frickin' London or some shit. It's always raining. Come to see Balaman perform. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. 
If you need right. any more smithing, get some gold out of it. Go talk to the Jarl real quick. We're gonna run through, we're gonna speed run the rat way. I want to, uh, I want to take my, my chance at our ring. I also want to get the uh, fortify health potion. It's kind of like two. There's actually like three RNG points in this rat way. The stamina ring. What can I do for you? It's nice to receive the fortify health news, potion. And there's no time. The and the do this task random enchanted gauntlet. And you'll be well. Good. If they Report even spawn back for to us. Me when your task Lucky enough completed. they even spawn. Good even journey. luckier, it's fortify one handed. Fortify one handed, fantastic. So I didn't exactly explain the end game goal for this build quite yet. Uh, ch -ch -ch, yeah, we saw that running. The the main goal is going for a certain weapon that ignores armor. For yourself. That is the ghost blade. That is kind of where the idea of uh, Phantom Knight comes from. Okay, I don't think there's anything here that I want to sell. Uh, I do like his chitin armor here, but that's okay. We'll be able to cast Blur soon enough. I might... I don't know. I might actually... It's like I want the stamina to go in to some of these other bandit locations from the Steed Stone, but it's like I also want to be able to cast Blur. <laughs> decisions, decisions. But since we're going to be going for Ghost Blade... This is where I feel like my build here deviates from the standard from the standard Blade Fury build because Blade Fury is primarily focused on uh, max attack speed with enchantments. I am going to be focusing on not max. Oops, just accidentally looted something else. But high damage like fortification damage with swords and ghost blades since it ignores armor I don't have to worry about armor penetration make sure they don't jump down it does happen sometimes All right, fingers crossed. Hey, 30%'s not, not the worst. <laughs> Far from the best, but it's not the worst. Hey, we'll take anything we can get, right? It's essentially a free enchanted ring slot. Burning? Weakness to fire, damn. That's kind of like another RNG point. I like to get burning. And faint? Eh. It's okay. Our RNG is kind of like meh with this one so far. But we do have one more point, and honestly, the next point might be the most important. Oh, also, I did go back to. Oh, the name of it escapes me. Rock something? Ironback? Ironback Hideout, I think is the name. I did go back to Ironback Hideout. Let me see. Up here in solitude. Ironback hideout. Yeah, I did go up there. There was a novice chest opened up. There was two insights. That was dope. Also found a nice pair of scaled boots on that archer that we left. That was pretty cool. I don't know why what made me think of that. But it just made me think of that. <laughs> we'll just come down here real quick. Grab Draven's bow. Ooh, actually, you know, we don't have beef stew on. Uh, we might not actually be able to open these apprentice locks. I might have to throw beef stew on after all. Come on. I'm trying to go through here fast. Thank you, Block. Damn. These guys can, like, actually really hit hard sometimes. I don't know why that is. 
making me waste my good healing potions. Yeah, I had some remarkables, but not anymore. I think I've actually been looting lockpicks. I don't need to. Ah! <laughs> wow, that's another carved bow. It's actually a really good bow. It's uh, better than elven, but worse than glass. Pretty crazy to see two of them in here. Archery. Damn, this would have been a good archer run. Not too bad with our insight luck, though. I must say. Can we open this? I don't think we can. No, we can't. Uh, I think it'll be worth taking the beef stew. Though. I want to be able to get the insight from turning in dravens. And I also want to open this chest. Well, we'll be getting an insight. <laughs> uh, burning enchantment? Yeah, sure, why not? We can either sell it or just go disenchant it real quick. It might dis... I don't know. Is it even worth disenchanting it? Probably not, because we'll, by the time we even like start enchanting our weapons, we'll have level 50 enchanting. And we'll be doing Fire Burster and all that stuff, which, like I said before, I, I don't, I'm not really going to be relying on the Burst enchantments. I do probably want to test them out, but I want to just be able to get Ghostly like, as soon as possible. Oh yeah, I always forget to do this. As I can to save time. Thanks to mods. Yeah, we're already at like the 12 minute mark. It's gonna be a long one. That's all right. We're gonna have fun with it. I don't really want to split this up into two episodes. To me, this is like one episode. I want to like kind of keep the episodes like, you know, makes sense that we're doing all this in one episode. The rift and stuff, I guess, is kind of extra. I kind of thought about not doing it, but I figured if I do the rift and stuff, I end up with more insights this way. And that's what it's all about, right? Uh, I don't know why I did that, but we did it. Did we have an app spells and incantations for those? I have to remember. I do want to sell some of the stuff off just so we can save some carry weight. And then I just need to be a little more uh, frugal with my timer that I have left on my beef stew. I bought two for a reason, Just what I figured we'd probably here. need two. Oh, he only has like 47 gold left. Urgh. Do you have anything that's like worth buying? Kite and shield? It's actually kind of nice. These are just like kind of expensive, and I don't really want to spend that much gold just to be able to sell some stuff. Yeah. That's fine. We'll just go to Percy Honeyhand. Welcome to the Pond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome. Take a look. Is that everything I wanted to sell? Yes, it was. Okay, it's just that. All right, now we can go turn in Draven's Bow and then head to Crag's Lane, do Stony Creek, head north up to Windhelm. I think I'll just travel, fast travel to the uh, stables. And then we can go take on Trader's Post. And that's something else I wasn't even thinking about. Trader's Post actually was the one place and probably uh, Knife Point Ridge, whatever the hell this thing, no, not Knife Point Ridge. Uh, knife hideout, whatever the thing is called. The big dungeon we plan on doing at the end. Trader's Post and that one were the ones that uh, made me the most concerned because Trader's Post, thanks to uh, Ghoul Smasher's lovely, unique enemies mod, adds in a uh, battle mage that uses a uh, spell sword, really, that uses uh, fire spells. And we got that 40% fire resistance necklace in the first episode. Are you so it wasn't that lucky. Making? Not only did they take my a few days, if you have the guts to head into the rat, that's it. I don't know. Here, this is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Right. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I hate the freaking rain so much that I'm okay with doing this. I remember, I, I know I've said this before, but uh, whenever I was playing Ultimate Skyrim back in the day, you know, way before Wildlanders, OG Ult Sky, I remember whatever weather mod the that was in the list, like it, it was always raining for some reason. It just like felt like it was always raining. So I actually edited the weathers to never rain. It was always clear weather or like cloudy or whatever. It was never raining. Such a lovely thing. So as you can see, I I love changing the weather to clear so much I have the code memorized. Now the only thing we need to be worried about over here on the road is spiders. I think I went a little too far off the road, yeah. Oftentimes some big frostbite spiders on this road. Usually once you get close to uh, Stony Creek and Crags Lane. I mean, I, can, I couldn't get over how like fun and fresh the solitude start was. That was, that was good fun. I like that. And I like the Windhelm camps, too. I think they're really fun. The Riften ones are kind of iffy. Okay, I was like, I think that was a discoverable location. I like to just get some more fast travel points. Kind of over the whole, like, oh, no fast traveling in Requiem. I don't care. I like fast travel. In a game that I've played this long, I want fast travel. I'm just going to ignore that spider and hope he doesn't follow me down here. Now, one thing I do lose out on by not going orc, because I talked about that originally this build was going to be an orc. Before that, it was going to be a Dunmer. But when I was doing the orc, I was like, you know, at least I get bestial stew. So I do miss out on bestial stew by going imperial. But later on, I don't think it's going to really matter that much. I'll probably be going for, like, home-cooked meal at that point. Okay, heavy armor, and it's going to be slash resistance. I actually think I want to use my damage health. Time to die. You're going to die for that. Oh, nice. A regular insight. And pop one of those. Oh, wait a second. Did I just get, like, extremely distracted? I never even got my freaking one-handed perk for power attacks. I really thought we did that already. Well, shit. I guess that's the next perk we'll be going for. That is really funny. Glad I noticed that. Sitting here leveling up block, and I was like, wait a second. Why is one-handed 18? Forgot that I was two away. Well, Imperial Stamina is actually pretty good, so... You know, and Steed Stone, Stendar. <laughs> it all adds up. So yeah, even though we started Steed and we're going to be going the... Shit. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. <laughs> No, thank you. You're ready to die today, huh? It's nothing. Ah, uh. die, damn you. Uh. Your best, huh? Damn it. Freaking heavy ass armor. Make me burn through my healing potions. I think there's one more enemy in here that we need to be mindful of. 
Maybe that is the one. I think there's one more. Over here. Look in here. It's like we got ourselves a hero. Let's see what you made of. You won't get the best of me. Easily <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one, the butcher. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. Fire Eastman. You won't get away with that. You're a fool to fight me. Garb is the base. Okay, I'm just going to take these guys outside because it's a pain in the ass to fight them in here. It's not that they're difficult to fight, they're just fucking annoying. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I'll rip your heart out. <laughs> yeah, I wish you would all just do that real quick so we can get this over with. There's one more. I think you got like Pray to Stendar while you can. stuck on a rock or some shit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Is there another one? Or am I just in combat with the wolves? Probably just the wolves. That or that freaking spider still. Well, let's just hope the spider doesn't follow us in here. Wow, I was really surprised we had the range on that. Yeah, it looks like that's what we were in combat with. Nice, three insights. And... I can't remember... what it is that we were supposed to get. From here. I think we're just supposed to clear him out, right? Yeah, because now it's report to the Earl of Riften. Okay, cool. I'm just going to mark that on my journal. And off to Stony Creek. Fingers crossed and Stony Creek. <laughs> this is like, test your RNG the episode. <laughs> Tested it in... Uh... In the one place, uh, Ratway. Now we're going to test it in Stony Creek. Now, not going to mess with the wolves. There's no point. Oh, that was something I was going to talk about earlier, though, is that now that I'm not doing the orc, I don't have to worry about collecting. I don't have to worry about fighting wolves. Collecting meat. It's honestly really important. I wish, I wish vendors sold b seals too. I remember there was like a plugin like way back in the day that added that. I mean, it's not hard to add in to the leveled lists, but I don't play beast races enough, I guess. Or I'd, I'd probably just still end up collecting it anyways. I wish I had a fire scroll in here to blow these guys up. Big ass heavy armor dude again. Here we go. as well make matters worse I'm gone, you had 
You know, I didn't want to do this, but it's it's getting too dicey to fight them in here. The reason I don't want to do this is because the moment you come out here, the Imperials up there go after them. You're a fool to test me. Last mistake. Son of a Yeah, that's the part I'm talking about. No, I almost hit the Imperial. That would have been really bad. I mean, it was evident that we had the fight there. It's just that it could have gotten dicey. If we had, like, taken a hit. Is that the Fugitive? No, that's the blacksmith. Actually, you know what? While we're here. Take a look. These guys always have something good. I'm gonna see what kind of swords you guys have. Ain't shit, that's what you got. Magicka. Lifting. Uh, there is the chance for a trickster still. The staff's almost worn out. I'll sell it once it wears out. Not really a point in refilling this one. It'd be different if it was one of the projectile ones. You picked up. Yeah, I learned my lesson from last time to not try to charge from the front. Oh, illusion skill book. I don't want to read that. I actually do want to save those. Well, there's the fire bolt that I was looking for. Cabbage soup. And some good insights. We can go ahead and do that. And then go into block till block 30. Oh, we're so close. We'll get it, though. Okay, Magicka. I need to get some points in Magicka. And let's put this point into one-handed. And then we'll get the block perk that lets us uh, regain stamina on hit. That's super big, too. That's really nice. Should be one more bandit up here. Sick. And then you guys probably already know the drill. Time for some crazy parkour. Let's go ahead and get our block level up here. Almost levels us up. I forget what the easiest way to do this is. I think coming at it from the other side is the easiest. Or not. So if you didn't know, now you know. This just takes you the back way into Kagrenzel, which has a uh, Dwemer boss chest up here. We'll see what's in it, and then I'll decide if we use it or not. If anything, it's just some nice cash or some extra insights. Actually, it's not even a boss chest. It's just... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, we have to use it, right? <laughs> Dude, that's sick. That's actually really nice. Wow. Heal self one? Yeah, I'll learn that. Summon Flame Matronach? I'll never be able to do that. Cast that. Staff of Harmony? Eh. The Staff of Frenzy would be better, but uh, don't mind if I do. I don't really need the Fire Resistance yet. I will wear this, and then this will be great to be able to disenchant later. Cool. 
Now we're immune to paralysis effects, so spiders won't be as scary anymore. Uh, and we have some extra health. An extra 40 health goes a long way for Dead is Dead. Is it cheesy? Of course it's cheesy. Do I care? Not that much. Uh, we actually need to go up here. And it will take too long to travel there by foot. <laughs> we need to do... Oh, but I kind of want the fire resistance. I think I want the fire resistance for Trader's Post. So we are going to put it on for Trader's Post. Oh, we can bash open the depth now, probably. With beef stew, maybe. Should. We'll see. Can I cast Blur yet, though? That's the real question. Oh, actually, you know what? I know we can cast Blur. All I have to do is take my armor off. Maybe. We are Imperial, so... Armor doesn't make a huge difference. But yeah, there we go. So now we can do that. We can put this on... Three, I guess. There we go. How long does blur last? It is perk blur, too. Oh, and because we don't have the apprentice stone yet, it gives us the full 75 armor. I've been looking for you. Ah, looks like that's it. Oh, yeah, letter from the Jarl. Knew that'd be coming soon. Been a minute since we saved. We are going to put on flame suppression. We still have beef stew, tonic, so we're good on that front. Um, I actually wouldn't mind casting one of these at the start of battle. We have 115 total, so we can cast one. I have no problem. If I can hit one of the archers, that would be fantastic. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing at the Wreck of the Winter War. I don't like the sound of that. Not going to lie. Oh, I think it... I don't know what it is up there. I don't know if that worked. I don't think it did. Sometimes the Imperial dude doesn't spawn right, though. That can be a little frustrating. Because I want him to spawn. But until I see fire coming at me, I'm going to wear my, my health. Did he just, like, bash cancel me? Did you guys see that? Oh, hissed spit on you. Bastard. Mercy! Ooh, he had some kind of scroll of healing. Mage armor scroll, huh? Don't mind if I do. Look at that. Look at that protection. We took like no damage from that arrow. Thanks to blur plus the the scroll. Yeah, it looks like our Imperial friend did not spawn. I'm not sure why that happens. Maybe a Requiem thing. That's kind of sad. But to be fair, we also didn't have the bounty for this place. Or if that has something to do with it. I don't think it would. Oh, we can get... Uh... Why is someone shooting at me? Uh, 
I'm assuming it's like the fire mage, ice mage. Yeah, there he is up there. This is fucking terrifying. Oh no. <laughs> I got fucking stuck. Okay, I am gonna have to TCL out of this. Okay, there we go. Maybe we'll actually get lucky here, and the Fire Mage will fight the Frost Troll. Let's go. Was that like best case scenario or was that like best case scenario? That was fucking nuts. Ooh, hearts are pounding. Funerary, right? Man, oh man. I'm still in combat with something. That kind of scares me. Wow, that was exhilarating. Oh. And then let's finish it off with an ice wall. Oh, that fire resist necklace, man. Fire. Uh, th this RNG so far has been pretty bonkers, I'm not going to lie. I really didn't want to throw it all away there. Uh, I must have. I must say, though, I don't think we're going to make it to knife whatever hideout thing the jig place is called. I think that might be too long of an episode. I'll try not to go like. To an hour. Let's not worry about this for a second. I think next we're focusing on one handed. Put another point into Magicka. Oh, actually, we need to get Illusion up to 35 next. That'll be the next thing. Oh, well, while we've got the level up, we need to... Boom. Gotta be careful, because I've seen a Hag Raven spawn a lot over here. Okay, random Red Guard. This is what you want, huh? Whew. Huh? <laughs> Alright, not bad. Um, I, that was who I was still in combat with, it looks like. If I wear that, how much extra movement speed does that give us? What did I just take off? 1% movement speed for 10 armor. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, let's see here. Why do I hear more frickin' fireballs? Can we be done with the fireballs? By the way, armor is not terrible. Plus blur. Yeah, I was hoping to do 
Uttering Hills and Knife Hideout or whatever the hell it's called, I keep forgetting. So I don't think we'll have time in this episode. Let's see here in Raging Orb. Oh shit, I don't have enough magicka. Oh, we have a Fortify magic. It's good now. I don't think he was affected. see any tricksters, which is nice. Okay, this is gonna die already so I can get annoying stuff. fast. I think that's everybody. Got a little bit lower than I would like. Okay, not too bad overall though. Blur is such a lifesaver. Whoa, a little bit of a lag spike there. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this actually. I wouldn't mind having something to shoot. <laughs> I think we're going to start off next episode a little fun. We are going to hold off till next episode for the next two bandit locations. And I'll see what other one we can pack on there to have some fun with it. But I think we're going to go Periite next episode. I I'm definitely ready to get... I'm ready to get uh, the Prentice done. Okay, cool. And of course it's raining. Let's go ahead and level up. And get three levels into Illusion. I'll go turn these in in the meantime. These bounties that we've done so far. That'll give us another three. And get us closer on our Illusion to 35. Alright, next time we're going to have some fun. See you guys later.